Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs, and I am a content developer within education services inside Juniper Networks. And today we will be going through the configuring port mirroring EX QFX learning byte. All right, so here is our example. Let's get right into this. First, I want to talk about the topology on the slot. And here we have three devices. First, we have SRX1, which acts as the perimeter firewall. And then we have EX1, which is an access switch. And then we have VSRX1. And connected to EX1 is the user devices. And the user devices connect to EX1 using Gigi007 of EX1. And then VSRX1 connects to EX1 using Gigi006 of EX1. Okay, so with that, let's talk about the criteria. What do we need to do? We need to configure port mirroring on EX1. We want to mirror traffic that is coming to and from the Gigi007 interface. So that's going to be ingress and egress of Gigi007. So basically, that's user traffic that's going to be coming in the interface, and return traffic going to the user devices is going to be going out of that interface. So basically, we want to mirror that traffic out Gigi006 towards VSRX1. Now, you might ask yourself, why would I ever want to mirror traffic to a VSRX device or an SRX device in general? And the reason behind that, you can do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, you can do some layer seven services such as adaptive threat profiling by putting the SRX into tap mode. And so we're not gonna go through that part of it. I'm going to create a completely different learning byte. So look for that one that will discuss adaptive threat profiling. But for this learning byte, we're just concerned about configuring port mirroring on EX1. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is the CLI of EX1. Now, one thing I do want to point out is that I have some hosts that are connected to EX1 on that Gigi007 interface that are sending ping traffic. You know, it could be port mirroring normal traffic or whatnot, but for this, it's just really easy for me to send a bunch of ping traffic so we can see that that traffic is being port mirrored. So keep that in mind. Okay, so with this, let's first look at what's happening with the interfaces. And I guess I need to use the correct command. All right, so up here, let's look at Gigi007. And we see here that Gigi007 is sending and receiving traffic. That's great. And so Gigi006, there's really not much happening there with that interface because we haven't set up port mirroring yet. Let's go ahead and quit that. And then let's configure some port mirroring. And this is pretty straightforward. We need to go under forwarding options and then analyzer. And then we need to name the analyzer here. And we're just gonna call this tap-srx because and we're sending it to an SRX that's in tap mode. And then we need to set the input parameters. So here we can set the ingress of interface GE007. And then we're gonna set the output egress, that is, interface Gigi007. So this is going to Port mirror interface Gigi007, traffic coming in and out of that interface, ingressing and egressing that interface. And recall, Gigi007 is the interface that is pointing towards the host in our network. So now we need to specify the output parameters. And you can think of this as where are we sending this traffic? Where are we going to port mirror this traffic? I'm going to say interface Gigi006. So what this basically works out to be is we're going to be collecting the traffic that's coming in and out of Gigi007 and then sending it out towards VSRX1 on interface Gigi006. All right, so let's go ahead and commit that configuration. All right, that configuration has committed successfully. So let's look at the interface statistics. Okay, so let's look at Gigi007 and we can see here, we got the pretty much the same output we had before. Traffic's coming in and going out. Now we can look at Gigi006 and we see something interesting here. You see no traffic going in but a whole bunch of traffic going out. And that's exactly what we want. We don't want traffic coming into this interface. We just want a bunch of traffic going out of this interface. So let's quit that output. Then let's jump to VSRX1. And here is VSRX1. Now recall that VSRX1 is already set up in tap mode. We have an interface in tap mode, everything's set up and good to go. So if things are working, if we're port mirroring this correctly, we should see this on VSRX1. Recall that we're doing a lot of ICMP traffic. And perfect, this looks great. And you're gonna see something here. I'm just gonna kill this output because we don't need to see more of the same thing. So let's look at this bottom session we have here. 
we can see traffic coming from the 10.10.103 address going to the 8.8.8 .8 .8 address. That's ICMP traffic, we know that. Now, something interesting is the incoming interface is Giggy004 and the outgoing interface is Giggy004. And that might seem a little strange because why are we sending traffic out? We are sending traffic out. The reason behind that with VSRX here is if we're doing other services like adaptive threat profiling, then we need to see both wings of the traffic. Now, keep in mind that EX1 is not accepting that return traffic because we're just port mirroring traffic out that Giggy006 interface on EX1. And also keep in mind, we're not covering adaptive threat profiling in this learning byte. I will have a separate learning byte that talks about adaptive threat profiling. So we have successfully set up port mirroring on an EX device. Now, one thing to keep in mind that I didn't point out earlier is that the configuration I used for port mirroring on the EX1 device is with the ELS software. So keep that in mind. If you're not using ELS, then your configuration is going to be different. So we're port mirroring from EX1 to VSRX1. We're able to verify that traffic is being sent out of EX1's Giggy006 interface. And then we can verify that it is being received on VSRX1. So that brings us to the end of this learning byte. In this learning byte, we demonstrated how to configure port mirroring for EX or QFX series devices. And recall that is with the ELS software. And then we demonstrated how to verify that port mirroring is working on the EX devices. So as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.